Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's interview. I'm with the amazing Alex Brown. Say hello, Alex. <laughs> now, Alex is a nutritionist, and that's what we're going to be talking about today and about how nutrition, you know, can really help your performance as a business owner. But Alex is going to be the Master of Ceremonies at Rich Hot and Spiritual Live, which is taking place on Friday, the 22nd of November. That's going to be great. And I'm glad to see that Alex is already getting into the swing of things, wearing her sparkle. So you're not letting us down there, Alex. So, Alex, why don't you introduce yourself and uh Tell everyone, you know, sort of like what drew you into nutrition uh, initially? Um, well, I'm I'm Alex Brown and I am here to help everyone find their fabulous. And um, I have a long history of, of poor health. And that started after the birth of my first son. I had a postpartum hemorrhage and I was given the option of having a blood transfusion to, to build myself back up or trying to do it naturally and I chose to do it naturally and I basically started to learn then about the benefits of food and drink and what I put into my body and how it could nurture me and obviously I must have done quite well because I've gone on to have another couple of children after that um and um <clears throat> then you know carry on a few few a few years later and then um a couple of years ago um, I was taken ill again and I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And again, the, um, the, the way I have fueled myself and nurtured myself with, with what I'm putting into my body and, and how I'm looking after myself with it, with that 360 approach has absolutely made, made all the difference. I'm obviously fully functioning. The MS is being kept at bay. I'm back to running 10K races again, which, you know, and it's all through looking after myself with my nutrition. And I want to help as many other women and men, if they need it, help get to that position where actually we're fueling ourselves and making ourselves shine. That's brilliant. Brilliant. So, Alex, a question that I want to ask is with so much conflicting nutrition advice out there, how do you help people find what works best for them and their bodies? Um, well, I first thing I do is put on the noise cancelling headphones for them and, and try to, to get them to stop listening to the 3700 million different bits of advice. And I, I get them to, to sit and listen to their own bodies. It's not a one size fits all approach to, to our health. Everybody's different. I do um, assessments with people where actually we engage with with what their body is going through, what their body needs. And I help them with what they need. And I can give them the correct supplement advice as well, because too often we're taking the wrong supplements because we've been recommended something that actually isn't right for us or we're taking the wrong dose. So I can help them with that as well. Yeah. And so what are some of the misconceptions um, that you've encountered since being a nutritionist around eating and healthy eating? Um, well, I think there's a there's a lot of because of all the fatty diets, we're, we're all continuously fed so many different contrasting messages. Um, and I think the one of the misconceptions is that all calories are equal. And they're not. There's good calories and there's bad calories. You know, if you take an apple, it's got 75 calories. A sugar cube has got nine calories. Well, which one's better for you? You know, actually the apple, because it's got all the vitamins and the fiber in it, whereas the sugar is just going to give you diabetes. Um, you know, I've, uh, you need another... a bit of sugar, don't you, well, you in your diet? A bit of yeah. sugar. Um, but you get a lot of, you know, the, the sugar comes from the fruits and, you know, it comes from what you eat. You don't need yeah. the added sugar. That's the danger. That's the, the big danger is the sugar that's being added to our food, which which we don't always need. Not mean we never have it again because we all want to have a little bit of chocolate now and again, but it's getting that balance right. Um, I've also uh, heard that, you know, all carbs are bad. The carbs are the food of the devil. No, they're not. They're actually really, really important. You know, um, our, our vegetables and, and fruit are carbohydrates. Well, they're the best foods you, you can be having um it's the um they're the they're, they're the, the fire in our, our in our belly it comes from 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 the fruit and veg 
they're excellent you know so some carbs are, are worse than you know are bad like you know the too much white bread um the too much pre pre uh, made pasta you know they become stodgy and he heavy and they give us those short little bursts of energy and, and then it burns out again that's not what we want whereas the 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 the, the good carbs like the, the sweet potatoes the broccoli the or you know they're giving us that fuel that will last a long time um, I don't suppose well I'm I'm not sure how much people realize that those type of vegetables have got carbs in them yeah it, it's kind of you, you know it, it's we forget we kind of forget what each of the, the foods is because I think in some way because we've just been told this food's bad for us and we don't understand why um so actually it's good to, to just actually sometimes go back to basics and reacquaint ourselves with the foods um, uh, and what they yeah. can do for us yeah um and another misconception i hear all the time is, is that um fat is bad and that we should be having low fat everything and actually um there are some really 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 good fats that we do need you know mm. butter grass-fed butter is fantastic for us avocado oil is fantastic um um uh, extra virgin olive oil it, it's great um and full fat greek yogurt is is wonderful it's filled with with the probiotics that are great for our gut health um, yeah i have that a, all the time a low fat um greek yo greek yogurt can have gone through so many processes and it can have had so much added to it to kind of replace the fat that it, it's worse for us because it's full with with fillers and and um sugars and and sugars under different names as well and so actually it's not fueling us the, the way it should do. So, you know, there's good fat and bad fat and full fat isn't always the devil. Yeah, I was I was eating <clears throat> low fat Greek yogurt and then I switched to full fat Greek yogurt and I actually found the taste was nicer. Because you've actually got the pure product mm. and, and actually the, the full fat will have more protein in it, which will yes. also give you... That, yeah. that little bit of energy and, and uh, leave you feeling fuller yeah so you're more likely to it's last it'll last longer yeah so they they are some of the myths that people can get really confused about so what are some of the sustainable changes do you recommend you know for anybody listening to this and think i really want to start to get healthy you know 2025 is coming up so what are those sort of like sustainable changes do you recommend to people to start making an improvement on their nutrition the first thing I would do mm. is not make all the changes at once because that's mm. the way you're going to fail. It becomes a bit like your New Year's resolutions. You know, on New Year's Day, you're going to give up smoking, go to the gym, stop drinking. Uh, you do all this. And by the chocolate. day, give up chocolate. You're going to go on a diet. And by day three, you're so burnt out and exhausted. They've, you've given right. up. Nothing. You're going, where is the chocolate? <laughs> Eat you it now. Kill people for a chocolate. Um, but it, it, it's so it, it's don't do it all at once. Make Take one little step at a time. Huh. discover what you're missing in your diet that that discover what those missing lego blocks in your health are and start to build them up one by one don't try to do it all at once because that's the way it won't work and it won't be sustainable because you'll just go back to your old habits and our final question for you is are there any nutritional trends or habits we need to look out for or you think will become especially important in the next few years? Um, I think there is definitely um, starting to be a movement towards personalised nutrition mm -hmm. because we're starting to realise we're not all the same. Um, you, you know, they're, 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 we're starting to realise with certain, um, I, I know fasting for girls has become a very popular because people are realising that the women's woman's body it's not the same as a man's body and it requires, you know, it has different needs. And I think our realisation that we each need something different is going to start to grow in popularity. Um, I think mindful eating and seeing food as medicine is going to become much more popular. Um, I mean, certainly from my own knowledge and experience, food absolutely is our medicine. And and I think more people are starting to wake up to the fact that good, clean, proper food rather than the processed food is actually 
where we're going wrong and people are starting to want more of that. We're starting to wake up. And the other thing as well, it's started to become popular. People are starting to become aware of it, but it's the importance of our gut health. Um, what we are eating is affecting our mental health, our skin, our physical well-being, because our gut is our second brain. So yes. although that's starting to come into the, um, the the public perception, I think that's going to really gain in in importance and, and more people are going to wake up to that as well. So we're sort of like coming to the end of the year, Alex. If somebody's listening to this and they think, do you know what, I really want to start to get healthy and fit for next year. What would be that first step? I'm putting you on the spot here, but what would be that first step that you would recommend they take? Um, just to stop and think and right. listen to what their body is telling them um and actually reach out and speak to somebody like myself because yeah. just because you know you need to get healthy or you need you know you need to be healthier doesn't mean you know where to start and actually where you think you should start might not actually be where you need to start so actually i would reach out and speak to somebody who can guide you and it doesn't have to be a big expensive process you know but actually just speaking to somebody who can just set you on that that those first steps is a game changer rather yeah. than trying to listen to all all the voices out there it's put the headphones on cut the noise out and and listen to yourself and that's one of the great things about the services that you offer is i know that you've got um, sort of like, is it a three month program that you work with people on, but people can also just buy a session with you. So if they needed, I just want to talk this through, I want to get some type of plan together. They could also buy a single session from you. Yeah, that that's, um, it's actually one of my favorite, it's, it's actually possibly the favorite thing I do. It's just giving people that snapshot, that, that neutral check, that shine a headlight. Um, so actually they can understand what they're missing out on, what's not quite right and have those few simple tweaks to just start that step th th themselves. It, it's 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 a very simple thing. You know, it's it's an it's an hour of, of their time sort of thing. And yeah. they get so many answers. So if somebody's listening to this and they want to contact you, Alex, how can they do that? Um, they can um, for, uh, they can visit my website, which has details of everything I, I offer, and that is www.findyourfabulous.life. Um, or they can drop dot okay. life, not dot co dot uk or dot com. It's, it's dot, dot life. life. Yeah, I thought that sounded quite nice. Find your fabulous life. Yes, <laughs> it's and I thought it was an unusual <laughs> um end ending for a website, so I I, I took it. Um, and or they can drop me an email, which is um, alex at findyourfabulous.life. OK, so findyourfabulous.life as well. Yes. OK, and or brilliant. Connect with me on social media. Good. And what channels are you on? Um, I'm on LinkedIn, um, uh, Facebook and Instagram. Yes. And I know that, Alex, you do a lot of posts on LinkedIn full of fantastic tips um to do with nutrition so make sure you go and connect with alex and check her out on linkedin yeah that that's i'm, I'm enjoying those posts actually it's because I'm, I'm 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 actually really enjoying linkedin as a, as a whole at the moment i will be coming out with a um a youtube channel next year um Brilliant. which is going to be called cooking through chaos in through chaos. chaos well i will definitely be subscribing to that alex alex thank you so much and thank you, uh, Carol. we look forward to seeing you again and of course being our master of ceremonies at rhs which is just over a week away, a week away. i know uh, and there, there are plenty of sequins that will be at the front of the stage yeah, so people may need to bring I'm sunglasses sure. i'm sure thank you alex <laughs> thank you carol